Imagine getting paid just for sharing your thoughts on products and services you use every day. With Survey Junkie, it's that simple. Click on the link in the video description to discover how you can start earning today by taking surveys. It's been two decades since Melbourne's Queen WAG Rebecca Judd made her sizzling red carpet debut at the 2004 Brownlow Medal. And life has certainly changed for the wife of retired AFL star Chris Judd since that fateful evening. Once a no-name model from Western Australia, the Glamazon, 41, now boasts a varied and glittering career a television presenter, influencer, radio presenter, author and business owner. So how did one red dress launch the woman once known as Rebecca Twigley into the stratosphere? This week, the popular outspoken podcast, hosted by sisters Amy, Sophie and Kate Tober, took a deep dive into Rebecca's rise to fame and how she became known as Australia's preeminent footy WAG. Rebecca burst onto the scene at age 21 when she wore a red dress with a plunging neckline to the 2004 Brownlow medal alongside her then-boyfriend Chris. The outfit, which boasted a neckline that dipped below her belly button and a daring thigh split, was created by Perth designer Ruth Tarvidas and was valued at $2,000. Chris and Beck, they'd been dating for just 10 months, and they were based in Perth at the time, and whilst Chris was known in football circles around Perth, Beck had a tiny bit of a profile. But she wasn't known nationally at all, one sister said. Chris had a bit of a standout season that year for the Eagles, so he was a favorite to take out the Brownlow medal. Yeah, and all eyes were really supposed to be on Chris at the time, but it was Beck who caught everyone's attention, another sister added. While flesh-bearing frocks are a dime a dozen on the red carpet these days, at the time Beck's fashion decision raised plenty of eyebrows. The Tobers noted how Beck instantly stole the show, with one explaining, this was 19 years ago. None of us had ever seen a dress like this on the red carpet. It was very risque for the time. Well, she clearly knew what she was doing, another said, adding, she was smart enough to know that this was a branding opportunity and all eyes were going beyond her, because her partner was touted as taking home the Brownlow that year. While Beck has since credited the red dress for launching her career, her flesh-bearing display caused plenty of backlash at the time. There were just all these sort of, like, snide comments made about, Beck, one sister said of the live media coverage at the 2004 Brownlows. It was kind of like these sort of piggish comments, and they kept going back like the camera kept panning onto her the whole time. And they were kind of like, demeaning her, she added. Another sister noted that at one point, Beck actually picked up her menu during the ceremony so that she could block her cleavage from the ever-prying cameras. Elsewhere, the Tobers touched on how Beck's daring display impacted the type of red carpet attire that was worn to footy award shows going forward. The sisters noted that other WAGs have tried to replicate the shock caused by Beck's appearance in the hopes that they too can launch a career in the spotlight. Speaking to the Herald Sun at the time, Rebecca said of her famous look, I really didn't think it would grab that much attention, but I got hounded on the red carpet. Everyone wanted an interview and pictures. Chris subsequently told the Herald Sun the 2004 Brownlow was the night Beck became public property and their lives changed forever. It did feel like a before and after event. Some wonderful opportunities opened up from it. Life was just very different, said Chris, who was just 21 when he won the prestigious Brownlow medal. Things around privacy, having a partner who was seemingly public property as well, there were a lot of things to get used to and my memories are of a really special night, but an exclamation point between life before that and life after that as well. Following the 2004 Brownlow medal, Beck was inundated with offers from Australian TV networks offering her roles. She proceeded to work as a guest presenter on Nine Perth program Just Add Water, as well as presenting a news segment about Melbourne Cup fashion for Seven News in 2006. A year later, Beck started working as a weekend weather presenter for Seven News in Perth. She went on to join Nine Network, hosting travel program postcards between 2011 and 2020, and presenting the weather on Nine News Melbourne in 2014, leveraging her rising stardom, Beck ALS.